Wendy, isn't it amazing we're actually meeting the real author? <gasps> Tipper, look! Uh, you know what? We should probably get going. Can I have my journal back? You're not going anywhere. my boy. Come out! I must speak with you. Reveal yourself, you single form human weakling. Oh boy, Dipper. That book sure is full of some great monsters. There you are. Ooh, and a new one. Should I be one or the other? How about both? You know, you're so much smarter than, like, everyone else. <laughs> it's kind of funny. If you were older, you'd be, like, my dream guy. Wait, do you really mean that? Wait a minute. In this place, you can be any age you want. If we were the same age, maybe you and me could, I don't know, actually be together. Wait, really? I bet if we asked Mabel, she could do it right now. In this place, it could finally be just you and me. Come on, man. Just take my hand. Persistent pine tree, hats off to you! You again! Did you miss me? Admit it, you missed me. Hardly! You worked with Gideon! You tried to destroy my uncle's mind! It was just a job, kid. No hard feelings. I've been keeping an eye on you since then, and I must say I'm impressed. Really? You deserve a prize. Here, have a head that's always screaming. <laughs> You. How's about you let me give you a hint, huh? I only ask for a small favor. In return? I'd never do a favor for you. Don't forget who defeated you last time. Right, you defeated me. Well, if you ever change your mind, I'll be here for you, ready to make a deal. Hey, want to hear my impression of you in about three seconds? I'm picking something up. Stupid thing. There we go. Uh, Pacifica? like to say that as a rich capitalist, I welcome your tyrannical rule. Perhaps I can be one of your, uh, horsemen of the apocalypse? Dad, 
Not now, sweetie. The grown-ups are talking. Oh, wow, that's a great offer. How about instead I shuffle the functions of every hole in your face? 